Hey plant gang, here with Suga canadensis, the eastern hemlock. Now this is an iconic tree in eastern North America, uh, native through huge swaths from Canada all the way down into Tennessee, uh, and really is one of the plants that when you visit our region of the country, the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, that people associate with the area, in particular at higher elevations. It's hardy from zones three through seven, and so uh, where uh, I am in Knoxville in lowlands, it doesn't grow quite as well as it does up in the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, but it can be used uh, in a variety of places uh, to create uh, shade, uh, to create uh, maybe a, even a windbreak. Uh, but it's, it's a tree that uh, when suited right, sided right, it can be great for the home landscape uh, or also a park setting like I'm looking at it here. So Suga canadensis, the eastern hemlock, or even referred to sometimes as the Canadian hemlock, this is a needled evergreen. It's a gymnosperm. It's a conifer uh, native to North America, hardy from zones three through seven. Now this plant can get 40 to 70 foot high and spread out 25 to 35 uh, foot wide. So typically uh, can be quite pyramidal. Uh, once it gets some age on it, it does open up uh, quite a bit. Uh, in the Great Smoky Mountains where we're from, uh, we see this growing a lot along stream banks at higher elevations. And this tree actually uh, casts a very deep shade underneath it, uh, which keeps a lot of those streams, uh, stream temperatures a little bit cooler, which is great for uh, our native aquatic wildlife. So this conifer, again, is a needled evergreen. It has very small uh, cones, just about an inch or three quarters of an inch long. Uh, lighter beneath with uh, some banding on the back side of the needles, uh, but also just very small needles is a good way to identify this plant. Now this tree has been impacted by an insect over the last decade, the hemlock woolly adelgid. Uh, now for us in eastern Tennessee, uh, this pest has ebbed and flowed a little bit uh, with different weather patterns. Some years it's worse than its other. Uh, we've gone to great lengths to save some hemlocks, in particular in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, uh, from this insect. Uh, so you definitely need to also be able to identify the hemlock woolly adelgid uh, as uh, part of the identification and the knowledge of this plant just in general. And here's a landscape tip. A healthy plant in the proper environment has few problems. Prolong prolonged drought can be fatal. Watch out for hemlock woolly adelgid.